preparing and processing the instrument tray, the first thing I will have to do is put on my safety glasses and my mask. Pretend I already did that right now. <laughs> and then I will put on my utility gloves right now because the first thing I'll have to do is grab all my stuff. that a little open so when I come back I can put them in there. Okay. Then I can finally put on my utility gloves. Okay, I'm going to put those on. Come over here to my ultrasonic. Open this. Okay, start sorting out all my red dots right here. Start sorting out everything. So I'm going to take out the burrs, being careful not to touch the thing right there. All the other rest of them. I have my polisher right here. Well, the polisher is right here. Then I'll take out my setup, which would be my mouth of uh, mouth mirror of uh, the excavator ex explorer, sorry, and the cotton pliers, as well as the spoon excavator, and then the comp comp uh, composite replacement okay. instrument. Put that together right there. Um, I just want to take out from over here. So um, I don't really have the casings to put them in. So I'm just going to tie them together and put them in the ultrasonic. So with my basic setup, tie these together. Do a little knot. Okay, I'm going to pop them right here. And then I also have my, high, my low speed hand piece and my high speed hand piece. They're not going in the ultrasonic. I'm going to come to the side over here. And then the rest I will, will be my syringe, 110 pliers, and my cotton pliers, as well as my spatula liner applica applicator. I'm going to tie, tie these together, pretend it's in the little casing. I would put my needle holders in there, but in the real thing, they're not going to fit in there. So I'm going to plop these in there. And the real thing, they're not going to be able to um, fit in the casing, so I'll just put those in there by itself, just like that. Okay. And then for my burrs and my polisher, I don't really have that, that special um, tool to put them in. So what I'm going to do is just take my two of my burrs that I used, put them in here, and my polisher. In the real life, this would be able so water can go in and out, you know, but for now, it's going to be that great. Put that in there and close the ultrasonic. Put that right there. Okay, so now I'll turn this on and everything will be good. So while that's running, I'm going to come over to my low speed and high speed hand pieces, which the first thing I'll do is take my high speed hand piece and of course, I'm going to wipe them off. I'm going to wipe these off. Making sure I get everything. This part two. Okay, those are wiped off, and then I can finally put this one in the assistina, which would be right here. I'm just gonna put it there, pick up a little applicator, screw it onto the onto the high speed hand piece, put this in here, click click it right in there, and then I will close it, turn it on. So this for my low speed hand piece, I would take oil and put a drop of oil in there. Close that up, put this back over here. Then after that, I will start cleaning up my red box and my red tray. Take some of these, wet them, spray them. I'm gonna do the lid first. And then I'm gonna spray this. Wipe it all down, the sides, everything. So that other one, push that from this side. Spray. Come over here. Plop. Spray. Then I also do the same for the rest. So I'm gonna spray. Wipe.
Well, not what I'm spraying right now. I'll wipe this side off first. Then after that, I'll spray. Come over here. Spray the part I last touched. Keep these over here. We got two more things over here. Grab this. Next spray. Wipe. syringe and needle holders should go together in own little baggie. Again, put the little strip in there. Seal. Okay. And then my high speed pen piece goes in own little baggie also. With its like that. Then the low speed hand piece would go in its own little baggie also all in there. Right here. Then I would unwrap this and get some over here. And these are all my basic setups, the Mira, the Explorer, and the uh, spoon excavator with the composite, uh, composite placement with the cotton pliers. 
put that all in its own little baggie. With a little note in there. Okay. Put that on there. Put everything up here side. Okay, with that done, also my napkin chain would have been in there too. It would would have gone, you know, with uh, my other setup. I don't should have done something about that. But my napkin chain, I would put it in here. Place it on there. And this is when I can touch the stuff. It's okay to touch them. Put them into the autoclave. And this is when I will take off one of my gloves. I'll take that one off. So, but like, I will take them off as like, uh, if I can put them back in later, easier. So with my bare hand, close this. I'm gonna like set the settings so that they do have, they have the pouches on there and also turn it on. Now that's, that's running, I can finally take this over here with my neck and chain with my bare hands. Close this. This is the part right here that you have to push it in to open up the microwave. And then this is when I would put back on my gloves, my glove, my utility glove, and I would clean up. Basically anything that I have left around, I will clean up. All the water, and throw that away. Okay, after that, that should be... After the autoclay is done, and every pouch that I have processed, um, I put a little indicating um, strip in there, meaning telling us who did it, my initials, which is YA, and also the date, which is today, uh, October 7th, that these uh, instruments have been sterilized in. Uh, the little box that's shaded in tells us that it has been sterilized because it changed color. The original one would have looked like this. Um, if it wasn't sterilized or has gone through the steam, this means that it has not gone through it. You see how it's not shaded? This one is shaded, meaning it has gone through sterilization and the, you know the steam, meaning these this these instruments, the syringe and needle holders, are ready for the next use. And uh, but sometimes when they come out of the autoclave, they may be a little damp. So the best thing to do would just set them out, let them dry, and then after that, when you come back, uh, they should be dried, and then you can put them up. And that should be it.